what's in the raw code? We, we know that um, Satan uses music. We go back to Laurel Canyon where MK Ultra virtually used rock and roll to destroy a, a generation. Yeah, it was social uh, engineering the more I look into it. Bill, that whole swing in 60s, it was a tool to steer the masses. Absolutely. But there's a code in it. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I quiver. I quiver because there are certain things. I mean, I'm protected by God and the angel, but there are certain things I am just. I don't want to let out, but it's my duty to let it out. Okay. In music, since I heard Jesus Christ Superstar, and if you, I, that's uh, pretty deep, and uh, it took me 41 years to become mature enough to handle this. It was one of God's greatest gifts. Uh, Jimi Hendrix himself said that uh, he could, if he had enough songs and enough audience, he could hypnotize the masses, which is exactly what they're, they're doing with their music. Well, let me tell you, what music has been doing is they are searching for the one. There's lyrics in music and the synchronicities I have gone through. Uh, I like to call it getting locked into a three lock box. Once you realize what's going on with the music and you realize that you have the key to move on to level two. When you go to level two, you see deeper into the music. You see what the lyrics are telling you. The one lyric that blows my mind is. Uh, uh, Queen, I, I have it written here. Uh, I, I put a gun to his head and I, I killed him, Mama. Well, the thing is, they are trying to find one particular person. Mm -hmm. We all know who he is. And anybody that thinks he is this one particular person is driven insane and driven to suicide. It is a devious devious and i'm trying real hard not to say that word it's a devious plot and it's there it's in plain sight i could write a whole book on uh the rock code uh see the c is all the music that there is a magazine is an album uh or or cd now it's a, a cd box uh, whenever you hear hair red and kneel that is in reference to jesus and god now, so, we are on the break, folks. I hear it. I know this that. This is the Earth Code with Bill Demarest. Join us after the break, and we'll get into more of these numbers and this woo. Wow. Stay tuned, folks. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Kev Baker, and you're tuned in live to tonight's Kev Baker Show got Johnny Whistles with me, and tonight we're joined by Bill Demarest. I tell you what, folks, tonight's show is turning out to be epic as well, because we're getting into something called the Earth Code. And Bill was sharing before the break information about codes that are contained within music. Very, very dangerous codes, Bill. Where do we want to go from here, Bill? Uh, I, I have to disclose it. I, I, I do, because... This song, In the Air Tonight, Why He's Kept Me Silent. Uh, okay, there, there is a very devious code in rock and roll. And as I said, they are trying to locate the one. And if you think you're the one, you're put in a three-lock box. And this is very complicated. I met the gentleman that, that um, what I can disclose now, because this is the moment that I have lived for. This is in the air tonight. I was a drowning man and he wouldn't lend me a hand. It, he saw my face, he, the lyrics, all oh, lyrics. So what I was getting at is there's a code in rock and roll that when the hair on the back of your neck stands up because you, and it hits you to your core is, is it's magic rock and roll Music of any kind is a God-given divine gift. And as I said, I mentioned to Johnny that there was a king who wanted to own and possess all music. And if you didn't bow to his music, he would take your head off. Uh, so it's, it's also a tool because at work, 
we have the same station playing over and over and over and over and over and over. And listen, if you listen to the same music over and over and over, it's a tool of that particular polarity, which keeps you in the same frame of mind, the same frame of mind, the same frame of mind, remembering when you heard it, remembering what it meant to you. But it, it, it's completely, it's a devious plot. And I've said this before in other places, um, and even when I was interviewed for my book. As I said, people who discover this code and don't realize they've discovered this code wind up like Charlie Manson. Now, I can picture Charlie Manson. He sends two guys out to pick strawberries. As the Beatles are singing Strawberry Feels Forever, they go out. And as they come back, the song, two writers were approaching. Charlie Manson was caught up in this box. Now, he took it to the third level. But when he got to the third level, where is he now? Where is he now? You, there's also the uh, conspiracy theory that he's not actually in jail. He's just a, a role player and that uh, it's all a story, which it is. It's a fabrication because uh, Sharon Tate was never murdered. The autopsy pictures are not of a pregnant woman who had her baby cut out. Sharon Tate grew up under her dead sister's identity. That, that's, that's another whole thing. So as I was saying, I got caught in that trap. I actually... <laughs> I actually saw a guillotine hanging over my head and two entities stood in the doorway where I was laying on the floor waiting for the guillotine to come down. And one looked over at the other. It was a male and female. One looked over at the other and she said to him, uh, he's all right. He's just a time traveler. <clears throat> oh, now that made sense. It brought me back to the real world. Uh, so the, the code and rock, uh, you have the sea, the sea is all the music, uh, the rivers run to the sea. There are songs. If you hear, um, hair, Neil, uh, they're speaking of God, uh, sand, uh, rain, rain is, is, is the noise is the noise that this, this, um, just completely blinds you to what's it actually in the music. Uh, lyrics, Johnny mentioned lyrics standing up the back of your neck. Well, there, there is, there is, there are a couple of lyrics burning down the house. My friends, I not proud of it, but I actually attempted to burn down the house I was living in and I did not care. And I, I was kind of out of my mind at the time because I had landlords living next door and a uh, tenant in the back. Uh, needless to say, I didn't burn it down, but I was ready to do that. And then stranglehold by uh, Ted Nugent. If a house gets in my way, I'll burn it down. So there isn't a song or a lyric that I cannot relate to my life. That's what makes my situation different. And it's all because of the earth code. As I said, when you use the earth code, it's going to make synaptic connections in your mind. Now, these synaptic connections are going to change your attitude, your role, what you do next, et cetera, et cetera, because you stopped and you paused to... Um, to pay attention to the numbers. 